Hi there, Sam. Yes, uh, the charge is stemming from that incident that occurred three years ago were officially filed today, and the district attorney's office says the officers are now expected to surrender. Please go. Okay. I'll do it willingly. I'm here to announce criminal charges against one California Highway Patrol sergeant, six CHP officers, and one registered nurse, and the deaths of 38-year-old Edward Bronstein. Oh, how serious is this? This is serious. Why? For officers of the force me to do this? Here's police video of the incident that LA County District Attorney George Gascon believes caused Bronstein's death. Bronstein had been pulled over for DUI three years ago. He was taken to the Altadena CHP station where officers and a nurse carried out a court ordered blood draw after he refused to give a sample. You're bringing the fight to this, not us. I'm not fighting at all. I then have a seat and provide your arm. Officers can be seen putting Bronstein on the floor and restraining him while a nurse takes his blood. I can't breathe. I'll do it willingly. I'll do it willingly. Just relax and stop resisting. At one point, he appears to become unconscious. Officers and the nurse are seen attempting to revive him. And then a few minutes later, they take life-saving measures. Bronstein would later be pronounced dead. The CHP sergeant, the officers, and the nurse have been charged with involuntary manslaughter. The sergeant and officers also face one count of assault under the color of authority. We believe that they failed their duty and their failure was criminally negligent. The charges were announced at a press conference, which Brownstein's father attended. I'm glad that we came to this point where they get prosecuted so they can hurt nobody else. The coroner found Brownstein had meth, marijuana, and alcohol in his system and determined his cause of death as acute methamphetamine intoxication during restraint by law enforcement. Gascon didn't respond to the coroner's report, but Bronstein's father did. No poor drugs or nothing, because he wasn't under drugs or nothing. He, would, he obeyed the officers, everything they asked. And the family's civil attorney say they have evidence to contradict the coroner's report. It was the asphyxia caused by the officers being on his back, not letting him breathe. That's what's the cause of death. At this point, there is no set date for an arraignment. Coming up this Friday, there is going to be a vigil for Bernstein in front of the Altadena CHP station. Now, CHP did respond to these charges, and I'm going to let you know what they said coming up in the 5 o'clock hour. For now, reporting live here in downtown Los Angeles, Mary Beth McDade, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio.